from sightseeing to cultural events and great food and entertainment and fun and exploration. This is Taste of the Town. Taste of the Town, brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. This is Taste of the Town with Marjorie Wardlaw. Summertime and the living is easy. Hey y'all, it's easy cooking today. This is Marjorie, we're in my kitchen and this is Taste of the Town. Hey, it is summertime almost just a couple of weeks away when I am taping this show. So it's gorgeous, hot outside. I did not want to be in here doing a lot of cooking. So I decided Gary and I are going to have salad tonight. Yes, we're gonna have a nice main course salad and I'm going to do kind of a deconstructed version. So what I am doing is something that you can easily do at home, at your own kinds of proteins and you know things of choice. But I have some fresh shrimp here that I've peeled and deveined, and these are extra large. And I've already got these ready, and I'm gonna pretty much season them up and I'm going to put these in the oven and I'm gonna roast those. I've done some bacon. Hey, you know, we all know bacon. Who, everything is better with bacon. I've got some boiled eggs. I have some cheese, we, and this is just an extra sharp cheddar. Uh, romaine, beautiful romaine lettuce. It's crisp, I think that's gonna work really well. And I've got just a nice assortment of uh, cherry tomatoes, a cucumber. I've got some Parmesan cheese that I'm gonna just use if we wanna sprinkle it because each of us is gonna kind of make our own salad. And I have some wonderful little, you know, pepper jack crisp. These things are delicious. You know what? You can hear that crisp. They are great. I thought that would be really good to give us a little crunch. Um, because I didn't do any croutons or anything. So why don't I go ahead, get the shrimp going, so you can see what I'm doing with that. And here is a bowl, I'm gonna put those in that. And I love to just, you know, kind of season with a little olive oil. Simple, salt, pepper. That is really all we're gonna want it's just a little salt and a little pepper. And you know, that's probably unusual when you hear me say that because I love all of my different seasoning blends. But we're gonna just do that. We're gonna just kind of toss this so that everything is nice and coated. Okay, and let me wash my hands real quick. And then I'm gonna take those over put them on the pan, and they are gonna be ready for me to just stick right in the oven. I have the oven already preheated, guys, and it is at 450 degrees. So we're gonna just take these shrimp and just kind of lay them out. These are really nice size, okay? I left the tails on because it's easier to kind of pick them up when the tails are on them. And when they turn nice and pink in the oven, you will know that they are done. So we don't want them rubbery. We don't want them to overcook. So give them room. That looks good. So let's go ahead and we're gonna stick these in. All righty, let that go. Now, when it is warm weather, Truly, let me wash my hands again. You don't want to be over a hot stove. If you're gonna be outside with the grill, that's one thing. But Gary is the griller for us, so I have to admit, that is not where my expertise lies. Tell me a medium rare steak, which is how I love my steaks. 
if I'm out there on the grill, when it should come off is right when I'm thinking, mm, let me let it stay another couple of minutes. Guess what? Then it's more like, you know, well, more than just medium well. So Gary makes a perfect medium rare steak. We'll do that one day. This is what I'm gonna do. I, you know, again, I could have just made these and I could have just put them on a plate, but it just really looks kind of pretty. It makes everybody feel like, you know, well, him and I, it's like you're getting something a little bit different. So I'm gonna take this romaine, I'm gonna cut that stalk, and actually I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cut some of this, just about enough that I know that we're gonna put it on our plates. Ah, really, that's plenty, I know it's plenty. So let me put this over here. And I have taken, I love this little cutting board. Can you see that? I just think it's so pretty. It's perfect for two people, really. Um, unless you go like I'm almost about to do is piling it with so much stuff on it. But let's just take it and I want to put all of the romaine, so the lettuce, down here on this end and just piling it in but making sure that everything is kind of like in place. Now I only took one cucumber and these are kind of the, um, the little garden right in my face. Marjorie, Marjorie. So let me peel this. And I'm not gonna peel it completely, okay? I wanna just make some nice little strips because I've already washed it good and it's, oh, I've had them and they're tender. So if I do that and then when I slice them, you'll see what I'm doing. So here we go. So do that, do that. Sometimes you could even take a fork and take the tins and just kinda, you know, go down and it just gives you a beautiful decorative kind of a look. So this is all I'm gonna do. And again, it's just making it pretty. I love cucumbers. When I was a little girl and my grandmother always, she and my grandfather had a gorgeous, big, beautiful garden uh, and they were in Alabama. So every summer, my sister and I would go down and spend some of the summer on their farm. And when my grandmother would be out in the garden, tending the garden, she would have me out there and I had a little apron on and she gave me a little paring knife, not this big. And I would take cucumbers from the garden and I would just pick them off the vine. I'd take my little apron, wipe it off. Inside the pockets, I had a little salt shaker and I would find a nice little spot in the garden while she would be hoeing and weeding and all that. And I would eat cucumbers for just peeling them, putting salt. That was such an, come on, just a great memory. I love that. I was very, very, very pleased and happy with the kind of little childhood that we had growing up because it was a good one, you know? And I, I always thank my mom and dad for that. So that's looking really good. So I'm going to now, see, I really, my board is kind of small, isn't it? But you know what else I want to do is take these eggs and I'm just going to cut them in half. And we're going to put the eggs on here. Now I might come back and rearrange this as I start putting <laughs> more stuff on it. We'll see how it's going to go, how it's gonna look. Because I want it to be pretty and I want the colors to just kind of make everything stand out. But that's looking good. That's looking good. Let's see, put a few tomatoes. And I know you want me to go over and check the shrimp. Remember, it doesn't take but a few minutes. So let's, let's look in here. Oh, it's coming along. We need to give it a couple of more minutes though. That's looking beautiful. Listen, the amount of shrimp in here would cover this whole cutting board. So I'm gonna have to 
I might have to do some adjusting, but let's go with the eggs. So maybe we'll put a couple of eggs like this. You can play around. Whatever kind of a cutting board you have, whatever you want to do, however you think it will look really appealing and pretty, hey, go for it. So I'm gonna do it like that, like that. I love that. Okay, that's looking really, really good. I tell you guys what, before I put the bacon, because I can see, I am really gonna have to start being creative with this board. Let me think about it. When you come back, maybe I'll have that shrimp out of the oven. So don't go anywhere and start putting on your thinking caps for some summer salad ideas. Taste of the Town, brought to you by GEICO. This is Taste of the Town with Marjorie Wordlaw. We're back. The shrimp, I just looked, it's almost ready to come out. The only thing I am thinking is I probably should have used a little larger cutting board, but that's okay. I'm going to make this one work. So, and we're gonna be taking it off in a moment anyway. But I decided when I was at break that, you know what, I wanted to add some red onion. So I already started cutting that. So I'm gonna just do some red onion rounds. And let's see where do we wanna put those. You know what, how about, ah, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna put them up here, how about that? How about that? Put them up there like that. Okay, see, that looks good. I'll put those up there. Let me check. Mm, look at that. I think one minute, okay? One minute. And then that should be fine. Um, yeah. Listen, this is just a Caesar dressing and this is a blue cheese. We both like both of these. So again, I told you, summertime. I'm being easy, I'm cooking easy, I'm making life today easy for me. So I'm just going to use a little of both of these and then, you know, Gary and I, we can decide which one we prefer. So I'm just gonna put that one. And, and I'll just put these actually out on the counter so when we make up, you know, our salad plates, that's what we'll have to select from. I was going to also do a chicken breast and slice it up because I have often done that. You can do ham, but you know, I knew us today. We did not want a whole heavy meal. We didn't want a lot. So I didn't do it, I did just the shrimp. And speaking of, let me go ahead and get it out. Okay. Look at these guys, don't they look beautiful? Ooh, woo! That would have been a terrible, awful accident. But fortunately, I caught it. These are beautiful. Let me see what I can do to show you just how gorgeous they look all over. See how they're nice and pink? The shells have turned pink and we've already seasoned them with the olive oil and the salt and pepper. So that is going to be beautiful. What I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm just going to put a few of these on the cutting board because there's not gonna be enough room, but I can guarantee you Gary's gonna walk right over here and put a few more of those on his plate. So let's take, I think what I'll do is take the bacon. I'm gonna put the bacon toward the end. And that's pretty. And now when I take, oh, eat a piece of bacon, that's good. Then I'm gonna give you some ideas of things that you can do, but look at how pretty this, this is. And you can imagine if you had a larger 
cutting board, the different things that you can put on here. You can take fresh green beans or haricavores, do the, um, the uh, French green beans. What you would want to do is to blanch them. So that means you're gonna, first of all, put them in hot boiling water for just two, two minutes or so. Get them crisp, but also you're gonna retain the color. You don't want them all limp. Immediately, when you take them out, you're gonna put them in a cold water or an ice water bath. So ice water in a bowl and just dunk them in and let them, you know, stay in there for a minute or two. Take them out, drain them. But you can put those, the same thing with asparagus, with broccoli. That way it's not raw, but it's blanched, so it's still retaining it. All of those are beautiful things that you can put on here. Red peppers, yellow peppers, green peppers, um, mushrooms, all types of things, whatever you like. Just make a big, beautiful summer salad board. So, right now, we're gonna put a few of the shrimp on here. And let's see, mmm, beautiful, beautiful. Uh-oh, Marjorie. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda pile them on, guys. And, but I don't want anything to fall off. And this is, this is gonna be one of these self-serve, come make your own salad plate up. And you know, we might even go out and sit outside. We fortunately are not being bothered by cicadas. My daughters in Baltimore, oh my goodness, they have been waiting for summer. One more. They've been waiting for summer to come and yet they can't even go outside and enjoy it. The 17 years cicadas are back. And Gary and I lived in Baltimore, I guess 17 years ago, y'all, all right? Because we remember those cicadas. They would be everywhere. They're in your hair, They're, they stick to your clothes. You know, they get in, don't, if they get in your car while you're driving, honestly, you will almost just have an accident. They are horrible. They don't hurt you. They make you hurt yourself, okay? So she said to me, both of them, they have had to bring in their, you know, cushions from outside, their flowers from outside, because the cicadas are everywhere. So we don't have that problem. Thank, I'm so good, I'm so happy. Thank goodness for that. So that's really good. So we can go outside. It's just, you know, that it, it's hot. That's the only thing. So I want you to take a good look at my salad board. Here are my dressings. Here, you know, in case one of us, what we want maybe some, uh, some Parmesan. These are the little, let me show you, pepper jack crisp. This is what they look like. And um, they're wonderful, and they're great just to snack on in general. But if you would like to make some croutons, by all means do that, or any other kind of crackers, you can do that. So, all right guys, I've got it all together. It's beautiful, it's simple, but you know what? All I have to do now is just taste it. So, I'll see you in just a moment. Taste of the Town, brought to you by GEICO. This is Taste of the Town with Marjorie Wordlaw. Okay, I got it all together. I have our plates set up. I got the wine already chilled and just waiting. And you know what? I'm just, we all know what salad tastes like. We know cucumbers and, but let me tell you again. So I've got cucumbers, I have romaine lettuce, I've got red onions, some sharp cheddar cheese, just some beautiful, um, you know, cherry tomatoes, 
the boiled eggs, the shrimp. I am going to taste the shrimp for you guys, all right? So let's see. Well, I can tell you already that it's very nice and tender. Move that one. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That is perfect. It is cooked perfectly, you guys. I am so pleased. So don't overcook your shrimp. Make sure you season it now because again, you want all that flavor in it. And if you have something additionally you want to season it with, go right ahead. But hey, like I said, summertime, life is simple and easy, hopefully. I'm gonna go ahead, pour me a glass of wine. Then I'm gonna go in and get Gary. And hopefully he is ready. And we're just gonna go and enjoy the rest of this day. I want you to do the same thing. I want you to take care of yourselves. Enjoy your families now. Enjoy your friends. Get out, do a few things. So, who knows? The next time, I might even be in your city. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Mmm. You want my recipes? Make sure you email me. Taste of the Town, brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. This is Taste of the Town with Marjorie Wordlaw.